go out every weekend. <laughs> I'm sure we've made plenty of songs for that. So Travis, what inspires you? What inspires your art? What inspires me is things that surround me. A lot of my friends inspire me. Uh, music, dreams, and different things and motivation to really want to be an inspirational person kind of inspires me to be a better person myself. Okay, and when you said dreams, are you talking about your dreams for the future or literal dreams you've had like at night or something? Uh, pretty much both. Uh, immediately, more so dreams that I have at night inspire me. I may, I may go to sleep and then dream something and I might feel a certain way in my dream and then it'll kind of drive me to produce something to capture what I, how I felt in that dream. And also, my future dreams inspire me to want to be a better person in the now, to kind of get where I want to go in the future. Cool, so that's interesting. Do you uh, have a particular dream in mind that you had one night that really stands out? Well, it was one dream. Uh, recently, I was, um, I was in, I was in a, a town and I had caught a curse and uh, I had, um, I couldn't, like nobody could see me and then I'd be, but I was able to fly. And, um, and so what happened was I had started to fly away and then just like I was flying so fast and I always wanted to be able to fly and it just felt so invigorating and so amazing that like the, I could feel like the wind in my face. And then I remember one part, I like landed on a train and then I was just holding on to the train as the uh, train was moving and I like flew on top of it. It just was just like a, a rush. And then um, the whole thing flipped and I was in like a whole nother place. But <laughs> just, you yeah. know, and then I woke up after that. But I don't know, it was just a, a, a wild feeling. Have you made a piece based off of that yet? Not yet, but it, it's still in my mind. So it may come out um, sooner or later. So what made you start Brain Food? What, what was its purpose? What made me start Brain Food was um, there was a, I had another brand when I was younger um, that I kind of wanted to start that was kind of um, derived from when I was a skateboarder. Well, I'm still I always be a skateboarder, but um, I don't skate as much. But when I was skating, I always wanted to make a skate brand, and we like make boards, and I put my art on the boards. So I would paint decks and then sell them to my classmates in college, and then later on, I ended up getting out of school. And um, I worked a little, got a little experience, and then when I lost um, my first position, and then I, I just, I was just like, you know, no longer, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and just give them all my ideas and waste my time anymore. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, pursue what I really wanted to do, and then it kind of manifested in the brain food clothing as we know it today. That's what's up. Can you uh, go over losing your position? What were you doing? Did you just wild out, or were they tripping? Oh, man. How'd it go? Well, this is a unique uh, occasion right here. They actually were uh, doing things and uh, that I really can't even discuss, and it, it uh, just had a devastating effect on a company where they had to let a lot of people go and downsize completely and kind of reevaluate everything. And uh, I just was I got caught up in all that. So it, it's it's wild. It's uh, you know it's just a whole thing. I can't really talk about it too much. Certain things that happened to me um, that defined me, I would say, was definitely that experience from when working, I got some true experience in the field and it kind of really let me know that you you can't wait to really pursue your dreams. There is no right time. And uh, you really kind of had to just take, take it by its horns and kind of really steer it where you really wanted to go. Um, so that's what that experience showed me. Also, I would say, you know, when I was when I was in my earlier years, I did get in a lot of little trouble with, you know, different things and you just, you know, I would say vandalism or whatever. I was just out here being a bad kid and um, you know, I got I you know, I had to pay a lot of tickets and fines and so that definitely uh, kind of molded me now to kind of be a little more precautious and think certain things through so I won't kind of just, you know, go in there and not be prepared into the fire or something. So, you know, just life experiences as a whole kind of mold me. You ever have one of those real serious experiences where I don't know you're wilding out and then something just hit you like, man, I gotta, I gotta get this together. <laughs> oh yeah, I had a, uh, I had, I had one experience. Um, 
I was at I was at this uh, camp and we were there for about a month. Like a summer camp? Yeah, and um, we, I was just up. Me and some buddies were up late at night and we were just bored and we just didn't have anything to do. And so we were just kind of, we kind of got a little antsy. We was looking for something to do and we just started just like messing a bunch of stuff up and just doing a bunch of prank stuff. Just crazy stuff like shaking vending machines and just making, just wreaking havoc upon us. Just, and in the morning time, we were like, it all, just all, just, just, it all hit the fan. And uh, so after that experience, it, and then I had to really kind of like find a way to redeem myself and come back from that and not be viewed as like a, a bad person that I know I'm not. And so it really kind of like helped me to grow as a person. You know, I don't look at mistakes as, uh, as anything negative or anything. I kind of look at those as just stepping stones of life that kind of mold us. So that was definitely one stepping stone that, that really helped me grow into a person I am now.